Thank you, Mike. Well, the Supreme Court heard arguments today on just how protected your cell phone should be from police who do not have a search warrant. Two criminal cases, two sets of facts, but only one question for the nine justices. Can police search a suspect's cell phone after he's been arrested, but before they get a warrant? In each of the cases argued back to back today, the suspects were convicted and sentenced based in large part on what police found during warrantless phone searches. Justice Antonin Scalia noted, quote, our rule has been if you carry it on your person, you ought to know it is subject to seizure and examination. And that's been the rule. Adding, quote, we can examine it totally. If it's a book, we can read every page of the book. Scalia then asked one of the men's attorneys whether she was proposing a whole new rule for cell phones, which is something many of the justices seem to grapple with. Recognizing that today's technology requires them to balance law enforcement interest against constitutional privacy guarantees. Justice Elena Kagan noted that following an arrest for driving without a seatbelt, if a suspect's phone was nearby, quote, the police could take that phone and could look at every single email that person has written, including work emails, including emails to family members, very intimate communications, could look at all that person's bank records, could look at all that person's medical data, could look at that person's calendar, could look at that person's GPS and find out every place that person had been recently. While it is reasonable to take a couple pieces of paper or an item from somebody's pocket, we think it crosses the line to use a smartphone as a portal to go into the person's most private and sensitive affairs. But the government was unwavering, arguing, quote, the categorical authority of officers to conduct a full search of any item found on an arrestee makes eminent practical sense in light of the realities of police work. The justices appeared nearly unified in their skepticism about allowing an unfettered search through a suspect's phone, but there was also some confusion about how to craft a specific rule to cover all circumstances. We should have a decision by the end of June.